in typical hybrid breeding, you take two parents that are very different and you cross them together. And in this instance, we could take a plant that's used as a male parent and a plant that's used by the, as a female parent. And as you can see on their own, they're not really quite very impressive plants in, in terms of, of uh, biomass and, and creating biomass and feedstocks for bioenergy. However, when you cross these two things together, the first generation of their progeny create these monsters. And this is called hybrid vigor or heterosis. And this has been the basis of breeding for cross-pollinated crops for many years. It revolutionized crops like corn and, and grain sorghum to make them uh, highly, highly productive and a highly efficient agronomic system. However, when you're breeding, it's really difficult to know what these two things produce. Sometimes they produce other little things like this, and sometimes they produce very large, very vigorous progenies. The tried and true method of breeding is to take as many of these things as you have, make the cross, just grow them out and see. Now, with the advent of molecular biology and DNA technologies and, and molecular fingerprinting and, and using molecular markers so that you can actually use molecular techniques to determine the actual genetic makeup of these plants, we can then use that to understand what combinations of specific genes are, are involved in making these two plants produce these very large plants. Uh, this is uh, an expertise that is, uh, that is not very widely uh, used because it's expensive, it, it's very difficult, uh, but it's something that Ceres brings to the table that our competitors currently do not. And it gives us an advantage of being a seed company with a lot of lab type biotechnology expertise which can accelerate the improvement of these crops for bioenergy.